everyone, this is going to be the tarot forecast for the sign of Scorpio for the month of May 2023. This can apply if you're a Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this does not resonate with you. As always, this is a general reading, so not all the messages may resonate. So take what resonates and leave out the rest. Uh, and I'm also taking bookings for personal readings. So if you'd like to uh, book a natal chart reading, a sinistry chart reading, or tarot, you can drop me a message on uh, Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box, and I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so Scorpio, let's look at your cards. We have the Magician. We have the Page of Wands uh, in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And sort of as a clarifier, we have the Seven of Swords for the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Two of Wands. So, uh, Scorpio, this is definitely a month of manifestation for you, the month of May. Um, we do have a lot of energies in Taurus, your opposite sign. Uh, and the South Node is in your sign right now in Scorpio. Um, you are letting go of a lot of things. You are in this purge, purgatory mode, purge, purging mode, where you are letting go of a lot of people, situation, things, even residual feelings, emotions, maybe from previous lifetimes, which just don't serve you anymore. So there's a lot of cleansing that's going on, especially emotional cleansing for you, Scorpio. Uh, and that's good. And that what that's doing is it's making way for manifestations to come true because when your own internal um, emotional body or spiritual body is cleansed and you don't have those mental blocks that you did before um, it really paves the way for you to start attracting whatever you want to manifest uh, because that's the thing like you may want certain things and you may put in the effort the intention do all the work that's necessary but internally if you still have those blockages or those mental roadblocks uh, that's, that can really stop you from receiving your blessings. Uh, so I believe, Scorpio, you have done the internal work and you're still continuing to do that. And you are letting go of a lot of uh, old energy that just doesn't serve you anymore. Now, the magician energy, the magician card is all about manifestation. But it's also about realizing that uh, people have all the tools they need in front of them to make whatever they want possible. So it's really about identifying what do you have in front of you or rather being very resourceful and considering what do you have in front of you that you can make use of to uh, start manifesting your desires into reality. Because the magician card, the magician has all the tools. They have the wands, they have the cups, they have the pentacles, they have the swords. They have everything at their disposal that's needed to... Uh, bring their dreams into reality. So it's just about utilizing and being very resourceful and having the presence of mind on how to leverage these resources effectively. Now I am seeing the page of wands coming up as a reversal. Pages are about communications and um, the page of wands brings a lot of hope, brings a lot of optimism um, with it. Now because this is coming up as a reversal, I feel like there may have been some communication in the past which may have sounded very promising. It could be for anything. You can take it for any situation. It could be for career. It could be a job opportunity. It could be a romantic interest. You know, take it how it resonates. But there could have been a communication which may have seemed very promising uh, at the start. But then as time went on, you realized um, it wasn't as great as it sounded or it was maybe very hyped up. So it wasn't uh, like when you feel the layers, you discover that it's not really as good as it sounded or there's not much uh, substance to what was being promised. I am seeing the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Eight of Pentacles is again this energy of resourcefulness. It's about um, honing your skills, putting in the effort, putting in the hard work um, to make something happen or to manifest more abundance and finances into your life. But this is coming up as a reversal and I'm also seeing the Seven of Swords as sort of a clarification for that. I feel like some of you may be caught up in some kind of deception or somebody in your life or a group of people in your life who may be causing a lot of distractions from you. Uh, and sometimes, you know, uh, energy vampires can take many different forms. Um, it doesn't always have to be an individual. It could even be media. It could even be... Uh, the information that you consume. But there's something in your life right now, Scorpio, that is 
causing a lot of imbalance or energy drainage or just a lot of distractions which is uh, you know keeping you away from realizing your goals because eight of pentacles is a very focused energy um, this person is focusing on their skills focusing on developing their skills um, and putting in a lot of hard work to you know build up their finances and abundance and i feel like because of this distraction that you're facing right now uh you may be take taken away from um this focused energy that you need to manifest what you desire and i will do a clarification on the seven of swords but the seven of swords swords um i feel like it could be a mix of things it could be a person of course it could be a person it could be a group of people who are doing this uh, just draining your energy uh diverting your mind uh, or you know causing a lot of distractions which is keeping you from your goals uh but this could also be um like i said you know you don't know what's real like that kind of energy it's very deceptive it's very illusory uh almost neptunian you know it's um you don't know what to believe that kind of energy where you thought something was the truth but then now you're not so sure there's just a lot of ambiguity with this energy that's what i'm picking up here uh but then i'm also seeing the two of wands in this reading and two of wands is a very positive energy it's about um being very hopeful towards the future uh it's also the energy of contemplation and weighing out your pros and cons you know seeing what's in front of you and how you can benefit the most from it um the two of wands is also about uh looking into the future it also signifies travel so some of you may be traveling if you have those kind of plans then definitely some of you may be traveling two of wands is this energy of like the world is your oyster so it's just a lot of possibilities that you are seeing in front of you and that's great because this kind of energy is very fertile ground for manifestation and i feel you will get a lot of answers if you tap into this energy i do want to do a clarification on the seven of swords so what is the seven of swords for scorpio okay so i'm seeing the 9 of pentacles as a clarification um maybe this person is jealous I i'm picking up a lot of jealousy with this person uh or these group of people who are causing these distractions a lot of gossip as well this is what i'm picking up on so maybe they are very jealous of your own success of the things you've achieved of your own self sufficiency independence because the 9 of pentacles is this really abundant energy of self containment and being perfectly happy with what you have and not really needing for anything so it's very um, abundant energy it's very um satisfied kind of energy being happy with where you are in your life right now and i think that's you scorpio i do believe that that's your energy in the month of may where you feel really fulfilled this month but then there are some people around you who are trying to uh cause disruptions in that or make you feel like you haven't got it as good as you believe you have you know there are a lot of people like that who because they're jealous of what you may have they may disrupt your peace or they can't see another person happy you know there are a lot of people like that so it's wise to stay away from these people and just enjoy your own success and live your best life and that is the best way to go forward you know scorpio Uh I want to do a clarification on the page of wands in reverse. Um okay so I'm seeing the hanged man come up as a clarification for the page of wands in reverse. So what I'm sensing here is this communication this communication that came in even though it seemed very optimistic at the beginning it probably wasn't I mean as as hyped as it was initially um uh, promised about I feel like the universe is asking you to look at it from a different point of view because even if uh, this communication uh doesn't really look like all that much it may uh, you know it may have a domino effect where it brings in much more abundance that you could have possibly imagined so uh, you know it's kind of like a ripple effect where it starts small and then it keeps growing and growing so I feel like give it a chance if if there has been a communication that has come in whether that's about a job or that's a romantic interest whatever and you feel like it's not really worth your time or you feel like it's um it's just overhyped i would uh, like the universe is asking you to look at it from a different point of view maybe maybe it looks like a small thing 
but maybe it will get you greater rewards as time goes by. So don't discount it is, or don't dismiss it is what I'm picking up here. So Scorpio, those are your energies for the month of May. If you like this reading, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, your likes help my videos stay relevant in the YouTube algorithm and help other viewers find similar content. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, definitely drop me a message on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box and I'll get back to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.